Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Luis from the Noisy Cavern Network here at NAM 2017. We are very excited to be covering this event. So we want you to join us for today. This is day one. Everyone's excited. We got good vibes. And we're going to be covering a bunch of merchants with their new products and artists as well. So there's going to be a lot of talent, a lot of music, and a lot of great vibes. So stick around. Join us. Why are you looking over here, man? You got something to say. How are you? I'm here at the Blue Microphone booth with uh, Hillary. Hillary. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your, the products here that you're showcasing today and exclusively uh, with the headphones? We, we, we're uh, here at Noisy Cabin. We do a podcast. We get bands and we have uh, artists do interviews. So you want to kind of showcase uh, you know, something that we would need in, the, in our studio and what any other like podcast we need starting up. So you sure. want, huh? Absolutely. So at NAM 2017, we are introducing two new pair of headphones. And so you may have heard of our headphone line, so some of these that may sound familiar, but this is, the first one is Sadie. So Sadie is a dynamic headphone with a built-in amplifier. So this is incredibly, it's a, it's a perfectly matched amplifier to the 50 millimeter drivers inside. And what that does is it gives you a high fidelity experience no matter what you plug into. So for a music lover, for a podcaster, you're going to get a hi-fi system on your head. For a music maker or an artist, you're going to get a consistent experience across multiple devices. So say you're at the studio and you're mixing a track and you're going to be done at the studio and you want to go work on it on your laptop. Well, you're going to get very different experiences because this board provides more power than your laptop. With Sadie, you get a consistent experience so you can work across several platforms. Nice. It's very helpful when you're, when you're uh, like JC, the guy that does all of our edits. It's kind of different if you're doing it like on a laptop, changing it up. So yeah, that's definitely good. And what's the other line that you have right there? So this is Ella. This is a planar magnetic. So for people who aren't familiar with planar magnetic, they are a different type of driver inside the, the ear cup, and they're really known for delivering supreme accuracy, like incredible detail. But they also have a reputation for being almost clinical. They're sometimes designed to be that way for critical listening. Sometimes people master that way. But what we did was, where it's a closed back planar magnetic with a built-in audiophile amp, and we like to call it rock and roll audiophile. So you get all the detail, but because of the way we build it, you get all the detail of a planer, but you get all that emotional, musical impact of a dynamic. So you get the best of both worlds. So it's like, these are good for heavy metal. Yeah. Pretty much, it gets all the all the grunges, all the gains, everything in there. It'll give you more detail than you've ever heard in any, any of your music. All right. Well, thank you, Hillary, for stopping by and for giving us the interview. I definitely appreciate it. Yep. Um, and if people want more information, they can go to bluedesigns.com. Uh, you heard it from here, guys. Take care. See ya. I got my homie Seth from CBI. He's uh, he's gonna be talking about his products and what's going on in Nam for for today. What's up, brother? How are you? Good, good, good. Do so you want to talk about uh, your products for, for Nam 2017? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm with CBI Cables. I'm the marketing director. Uh, we've been coming to the Nam show for years, way before I, way before I was around here. <laughs> so. Uh, basically, we are we are located in upstate New York. Uh, we build all the cables right in the house. Uh, we do a, a we have a large line of a little bit of everything: we do power, lighting, the guitar cables, the, the cams, data, whatever you like. Uh, 
best quality around. All right, and then uh, like I said, we we wanted to incorporate th this portion of the of the show to uh, to our podcast, and we, we we use a lot of instrument cables and everything. We want to make we want to see what are the you know what you guys are showcasing for NAM as far as like. We're looking at a snake, so what, is there a new snake uh, that's coming around for my um, cables? We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any new new snakes. Right. We have our normal quality, like our really good stuff. And what's the what's the build for for your cables? Like, how do you guys how do you guys build the cables? Is there a uh, different process? You're gonna have to ask the wire techs back at the office. I haven't built one. Uh, All right, where are they at? <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could bring them. <laughs> they would love it here. Yeah. Uh, uh, we do have uh, the prism lines are very good with us. Uh, the cloth covered cables, uh, the ultimates, just the quality there is perfect. You won't get anything better. All right, then, well there you go. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Seth. Yep, Scott. You. I already changed your name, bro. Yeah. Thank you, Seth, for the interview. And yeah. don't forget to check out CBI. And we're out. Hello, uh, I'm Scott Lumsden from Earthworks, uh, and I'm going to show Luis a little bit of his stuff about our microphones. All right, well, thank you, bro. Like uh, like we said before, Noisy Cavern is uh, is known for for podcast and for getting live acts. And we were, you know, how what would you recommend? You know, like uh, say our podcast or any podcast or anybody who wants to start something with music, what would you recommend them for for that? Okay, so the microphone that I would immediately recommend is our SR20. It's a cardioid microphone. Now, all of our microphones are condensers, so they require phantom power. The reason we got the headphones on is that I actually want to show Luis what's special about our microphones. We've got a textbook perfect cardioid bowler pattern, which means that the mic actually sounds the same here, right on axis, as it does over here. And notice, like, it sounds exactly mm. the same. If you had your eyes closed, you wouldn't even know that I was moving around. So, check this out. If I go further, uh, I'll actually give, like, a real test. So, Testing, 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 testing. Now notice, almost all other cardioids, when you go even a little bit off axis, you lose all the high frequencies, and when you go a little further, you lose everything else. With ours, it sounds exactly the same here as it does here, and if I go a little further, when I get to about 90 degrees, we start to lose a little bit of the high, er, a little bit of the lows, and uh, if I go all the way to the back, you don't even hear me at all. But if you say something, if you say something, Chick, no. yeah. This is how we can hear you perfectly and you don't hear me at all, right? Yeah. This is good for JC's problem because JC's always like telling the artist to like make sure that they speak on the microphone. This is the exact right microphone for that. Now, let me show you something else that's cool about it. Oh, dang. So this would be perfect for you guys recording both bands and podcasts. All right. So you unscrew this and you can use it to record absolutely anything you want. Uh, instruments, uh, and these microphones, they sound just as good on electric instruments, you know, guitar caps and stuff, as they do on acoustic instruments, and on vocals in the studio, you know, with a pop shield. And then when you want to use this thing for, um, as a, a dedicated live vocal microphone, or you want to speak directly into it, you stick this thing on, and, uh, you know, it, there's nothing like this out there. That's tight. And what's the, what's the material on this, or what's, uh, what's kind of like over, um, over any other microphone that's on the market right now. Okay, so uh, you mean like what are the advantages? Yeah. Well, number one, uh, there are no other microphones out there that sound the same all the way over here as they do there. Which means that when you're recording a podcast, it's especially good for that, but also for bands, you could actually, you could turn your head and it sounds the same. You can move over here to, you know, check your notes or something and it sounds the same. The, the listener doesn't even know that you're doing that. But also, a lot of podcasts are recorded in kind of noisy rooms. You point the microphone away from that noise, but you can never really get rid of it. This gives you the most rejection of any other microphone out there. And if you're going to do an interview where it's you and somebody else, you can, if you need separation, you can actually have one mic pointing at you, the other one pointing at that person, and there's almost no bleed at all. Well, that's so that's good. pretty cool. Yeah, it's good when we record our bands too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. How's your how's your uh, Nam experience been so far? Is this your first time? Well, you know, we've only been here for a couple hours so far. This is my second Nam, right. and everybody's been so nice to us. Uh, and I mean, people's minds keep getting blown by these microphones, so All it's right. good. But I mean, this is the beginning of Nam. Ask me, uh, you know, three days from now, and I probably won't have a voice yeah, left. Yeah, all tired. You're gonna <laughs> yeah. call in sick on the last day. <laughs> all right, brother. Well, thank you very much, man. Cool. Thank you, Scott. Nice you. Scott from Earthworks. All right, go ahead and check out their products. Cool. See ya. All right, well, I just uh, finished jamming out to uh, the VR drum kit from the music room. It was pretty sick. Uh, 
There was not much of a delay that I heard on there, but I know that there was some on the screen, from the from the green screen. But overall, it was pretty cool. I was a little bit disoriented at the end because uh, it was just weird, man. It was weird playing VR, but it was uh, definitely it, as far as the sound, it was pretty good. Um, I had a good time. Definitely something that you could jam out at your house or with a couple of friends just messing around and uh, obviously still you know, jamming out to some music. It's pretty cool. Uh, how it looked like inside, it was um, obviously it looked fake as f Roger but Rabbit. the Roger Rabbit, yeah, it looked like uh, I was in Two Town, but uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, uh, I wasn't expecting as far as like a visual quality, but the sound was really good, and uh, overall it was it was fun. All right, guys. <laughs> hey guys, Noisy Cavern and I are done with our coverage of day one of NAM 2017. We had a good time, jammed out. Now we gotta go before the rain gets here, all right? Stay tuned, and we are out. Yeah.